Hi there, Republicans. It's me, the Amazing Atheist, your best friend, the guy that you love most in the world. Every time I go outside of my house, Republicans just come up to me and give me a hug. They're just like, hey, it's the Amazing Atheist. Aww, we love you, Amazing Atheist. It's all the time with you guys. Such an affectionate people, the Republicans. But uh, I have a question, Republicans. I remember when Bush was your guy, when it was all about G.W. Bush. And you know, I don't agree with Bush's politics and the very notion that a man who is president then has a son who becomes president, that feels too much like some de facto monarchy shit to me. So just on principle, I don't want Bush as my president, but you guys ran him and he, he won the election, kinda not really. But, you know, he became president, and I saw the appeal of Bush. That's the important thing. I saw what the appeal was to you guys, you know? I thought he was a bit of a dimwit, but at the same time, he's like, you know, kind of like a down-home guy. He's like a favorite uncle, you know? It's like your crazy Uncle Bill, and you go out to his ranch and you fucking shoot some pheasants or whatever. I don't know. I don't have a crazy Uncle Bill. But I could see the appeal of Bush. Like, he seems like the kind of guy you could have a beer with, as people so often say. Then after Bush was gone, you guys ran John McCain and Sarah Palin. No one really gave a fuck about John McCain. It was all about Sarah Palin, and she was even dumber than Bush. In fact, she was so dumb that people forgot Bush was dumb. People started to think like, Bush, yeah, he was like a Rhodes Scholar. He was like a fucking professor of anthropology or some shit. He was a genius compared to fucking Sarah Palin. But I still saw the appeal of Sarah Palin because as dumb as she was for a politician, she really wasn't that dumb as far as people running around this country go. So I think a lot of people, they saw Sarah Palin and they saw themselves, you know, an uptight bitch out to ruin everyone else's time. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, that's what a lot of you Republicans are. Uptight bitches looking to ruin everyone else's good time. I mean, that's the truth, isn't it? For all of your mindless, meandering, meaningless soliloquies about freedom, you don't really give a shit. At the end of the day, you don't give a fuck about freedom, you just want power, and that's fine. Specifically, you want the power to tell other people how to run their lives. You can't be gay, you can't get an abortion, you can't be a Muslim. Let's make it clear, there's only two kinds of people Republicans like. White, middle class or upper class Christians who are heterosexual or people who capitulate to this group. People like What's-His-Face, that one guy that ran and everyone thought he was going to do something and then he didn't. Uh, Herman Cain, that's his name. I'm glad that I've already started to forget that fucking asshole. Anyway, after Sarah Palin, you guys are running Mitt Romney. And I gotta say, I saw the appeal of George W. Bush, I saw the appeal of Sarah Palin, I do not see the fucking appeal of Mitt Romney. I mean, you guys can't say that he's some kind of down-home, folksy motherfucker, because he's not. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and a golden fork up his ass. And he's a Mormon, so he's kind of a Christian, but not really in the way that the people voting for him are. I mean, Mitt Romney believes that Jesus and Satan were brothers. He believes that once he dies, if he does a good enough job here on Earth, he gets his own little planet where he gets to be God. That's right. This is a guy who believes that when he dies, he's not just going to heaven to fucking play the harp. He plans on starting some fucking planets and ruling those motherfuckers. Well, I feel pretty goddamn sorry for anyone that's fucking convicted and sentenced to Planet Romney. You can't say that you like him because he's a true conservative, because he's not. When he was governor of Massachusetts, he governed as a liberal. In most states, he would have been considered a Democrat based on the way he governed. He was a Massachusetts Republican. The thing about Mitt Romney is he's not a conservative, he's not a liberal, he's just a businessman. He's a businessman who is very ambitious. His ambitions include sitting in the fucking Oval Office so that he can build a golden highway for all of his friends on Wall Street so that they can just bypass laws, bypass regulations, do whatever the fuck they want because they're his cronies. It's gonna be cronies 
crony capitalism on a level that you've never fucking seen before if you elect this fucking piece of shit. So what exactly is the fucking appeal? You know, a few months back, I was sitting in a restaurant. And this was back before Romney had clinched the nominations. They were still having Republican primary debates and shit. And there was an old man sitting a few tables away from me, and he said, I don't even know why they're bothering holding these damn Republican debates. I'll vote for anyone. I'd vote for a homeless man under a bridge before I'd vote for Obama. And I kind of got like a chuckle out of that, even though it's stupid, because I assumed, you know, it's kind of like, a, it's, it's a joke. You know, he's, he hates Obama, but he's not going to vote for a homeless person under a bridge instead of Obama. But now I'm starting to see, yes, yes he fucking would. These Republicans literally would vote for anybody. If you ran Hitler against Obama, it's going to be fucking Hitler 2012 on the backs of every goddamn Republican car. I'm just saying, not because they like Hitler, but just because they've got this crazy notion in their minds that Obama is the worst president of all time, which is hyperbole to the extreme. Anyone who says that is a fucking idiot. Here's my challenge to Republicans. Tell me how Romney is a good candidate for president. Hell, just tell me how he's a passable candidate for president. But here's the stipulation. Do it without telling me about how awful Obama is. Do it just based on Romney's merits. Just pretend Obama doesn't exist. What is, what is it you like about this guy? What is it that makes you think this guy would be a good leader? Let me know, because I sure as fuck don't see it. People in marketing, I have a suggestion for you. I have a surefire way to sell any product, and that way is boob lasers. Lasers that come out of girls' tits. I think you could sell any product with that. You could be like, eat cauliflower, now with 